What's up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video I'm gonna teach you everything there is to know about MailChimp and email marketing I'll show you how I built and market my email list of 15,000 subscribers Plus, I'll show you how I make money from my email list and I'll teach you on how to properly send emails for your marketing campaigns I'll first show you how to create an email list for your email subscribers. This is where your subscribers are stored on your email list I'll show you how you can manually add subscribers or import a list then I'll show you how you can send emails using a variety of free templates to those subscribers and I will use real life examples that I use for my personal marketing campaigns. Plus, I'll show you how you can send welcome emails to people who sign up for your list automatically. I'll then be showing you how you can integrate MailChimp onto anywhere you want for your WordPress website. And if you're not using WordPress, you should. Next, I'll be showing you how to integrate it with WooCommerce. And if you don't have an e-commerce website already, I do have several videos on how to make one. So go ahead and check those out. And the great part is MailChimp is completely free. So once we go through the basics of email marketing, I'll run you through some different ways on how to make your signup forms look really stylish and make them look really modern and professional. Plus MailChimp works with all major page builders like Divi, Brizzy, or Elementor. So I'll be running you through all of that today in this tutorial. So after watching this video, you're gonna be an email marketing expert. You will have all the knowledge you need to know. You ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so you guys ready to do this? Let's do this. So the first thing you'll do, obviously, is go to MailChimp.com, and on the top right, you will see sign up for free. Now, this page might change in the future, guys. I'm really sorry, but it does not mean the tutorial is outdated. It just means that MailChimp likes to update their website a lot. So you'll put in an email here, and then you'll put in your username and a password, and once you're done, you will say, uh, I want to receive emails or I don't want to receive them. And then you'll click sign up now. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on sign up. All right, so go ahead and check your email. So this is going to confirm your email address to make sure that this is not some bot signing up for MailChimp. All right, so this is my email list. This is actually my Portuguese YouTube channel. So if you guys wanna see this, uh, my videos in Portuguese, I hired a translator for that. So here I will click on activate your MailChimp accounts and I will click on activate account. All right, so this is obviously the process of signing up. They just wanna make sure that you're not a robot and they wanna ask you some quick details just to, I don't know, make their platform easier to use. So we wanna use the free plan. So by default, these other plans are for people like me. So if you have like 30,000 subscribers, they're gonna to have to pay, uh, you'll have to pay a monthly fee. However, for your first 2000 subscribers, you will not pay anything at all. So I'll go ahead and click on the free plan and then click on complete. So go ahead and fill out this information. I'm sure you've seen the forms like this, your first name, your last name, your social security number, and your bank account. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They don't ask for that. Just, just give them this information. And then once you're done with this, you will click on continue. So next you'll need to add in your address. So if you don't want to put your home address, you can put in a PO box. Now this is required for international anti-spam law. So unfortunately this is out of my control and it's also out of MailChimp's control. So just put in an address that you use or you might have access to. All right, so it's asking us, do we have any contacts? I'm just gonna say no, 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 no. And then click on continue. So what do you offer or plan to offer? Well. I can just put technology and if you don't want to answer this, you can just put other and then just puts not available. Or, you know, if you're selling marijuana or whatever, yeah, I think that's actually legal in my state, Nevada, yeah. So let's put a, not sure. And then click on continue. Where can people access your offerings? So is this a physical store? Is this an e-commerce website? I'll just put uh, our own websites and click on continue. All right, so this is just basically asking if you want to get updates from MailChimp. Now these are all optional. You don't have to select anything. So I will skip all of these and click on let's go. All right, so here they're trying to sell you a bunch of stuff that you don't need. So just go ahead and skip all these steps. So I'm gonna skip this step. I'll do this later. I'll do this later and I'm good. I'm good, I don't need to see this anymore. All right, and welcome to your new dashboard. So congratulations, you now have MailChimp ready to go. Okay, so step one, let's just create a simple email list where your subscribers will be stored so you can send them email marketing campaigns. All right guys, a quick update. So as of October 6th, 
Mailchimp decided once again to change their entire interface. So I just wanna let you guys all know that if you see my video, it's not out to date. They just like to update their website quite often. So usually they have the navigation bar at the top and now on the left side, we have the navigation bar. So for example, if you wanna to go to your profile, it's on the bottom left under the account section. Uh, this is how you would create emails. So if you click on this little pencil, it'll say create. These are where your selections are and so on and so forth. So they did move the audience. So this is like where your list is and everything to this side. And then they have this other little navigation bar. So again, I just want to let you guys know that um, I'm not going to redo the video. I'm just letting you guys know that they have changed the actual interface to the left side. So again, the video is not out to date. I get these, these comments quite often. It's just that MailChimp has a very big tendency to update their website maybe once a month. So, you know, I do my best, you know, I, I truly do my best. So uh, go ahead and follow along the video. Just just, just letting you guys know that the options are on the left side and they might not be on the top side. So let's go back to the video. First, let's click on view audiences. Now you can also go to audiences and go to audience dashboard as well. You'll see one of them are subscribers and we can actually view the subscribers. So right here, you can click on view contacts or the number one, it'll take you to the same page. Now, when someone signs up for your list, this is where they're going to be stored. So I don't know why, but they've added me by default. Maybe they just want to see um, I don't know. So when you sign up, they add yourself, but again, you can go ahead and delete yourself at any time by just clicking on the email under actions and unsubscribe. But I want to keep myself just, just for total purposes. So let's say for example, someone says, Hey, can you sign me up for your list? And they give you your email or their email. Uh, you'll go to add contacts and click on add a subscriber. So this is how to manually add a subscriber. So for example, we have the email address and all the information. So let's say for example, your sister or your brother want to be added to your email list. You can go ahead and put their information right here or if someone that you know, you know, they want to sign up, you can put in their info right here. Okay. So I just put in some information. Uh, I put in the first name, the last name, and also I put in a phone number. You can also put in a birth date if you want to do that. Now tags. So what tags are essentially are categories. So you can actually categorize your subscribers. So for example, let's say you have a, a list of people who want to purchase a specific product and you have other subscribers who might be more interested in something else. You can actually tag specific subscribers because maybe each of them are having different interests in different niches. So for example, I'll click on the plus and this can be something like a deals or something like that. So I'll just click on deals. So for example, if you want to send emails to a specific tag, when people register for your email, you can use that specific one. So you're just categorizing your audience. Personally, I don't even use tags. I just use different lists for different websites. I just find that easier. Uh, people do use tags. However, I just don't. I just find it's too much of a hassle to keep making certain categories. But then again, that's just my personal opinion. So this person gave me permission to email them. If this person is already in my audience, update their profile. And then I will click on subscribe. All right, congratulations. We have now successfully added someone to our email list. So for example, I'll click on the number two where it says two of our subscribers. And now you'll see the email and you'll see the first name and the last name and all the information uh, about that certain subscriber. So that's how you can actually import or create your own subscribers for your email list. So next let's go ahead and talk about how you can export and import lists onto other lists or other audiences or whatever you want to do. So for example, I have these two subscribers, but let's say for example, I had a thousand right here. We have this button that says export segments. I'll go ahead and click on this and then you will see the audience exports. So you'll see that we have this member exports and on the right side, I can export this list as a CSV. So I'll click here on this button. And then I will save the file to my computer and click on OK. OK, so once that's done, you can go click on audience and click on your audience dashboard. And then again, you can click on this number two or view contacts. It takes you to the same place. And we have add contacts and we also have import contacts. So click on import contacts. And then you see where it says upload file. So we do have a CSV. I'll click on continue to upload. And then I will go ahead and upload the file that I exported. And then you'll click on continue to organize. So select the status. I'll say these people are subscribed and then click on continue to tag. Here you can go ahead and add those people to a specific tag. So for example, remember we made that deals, but I'm not going to do that, but that's exactly why you would want to make a tag if you want to. And then you'll click on continue to match. 
So for example, if you have some contacts that are already registered to that list, it'll just say, hey, we recognize a few people on the list and that's okay. And I'll click on finalize report or import. And then we'll click on complete import. And we are all done. So I have already added those people on my list. So obviously nothing updated. But in the future, if you want to import and export your subscribers, that's exactly how you would do it. So now that I showed you all how to create an audience and how to add subscribers and import and export lists, let's now create a campaign. Okay, so now that we have an email list where our subscribers are stored, now we can send them email marketing campaigns. So I'm gonna show you on how to do that. And I'll also be showing you my templates on what I use for my personal marketing campaigns. So on the top left, you will see create. I'll click on create and click on email. So this is gonna be your campaign name. Now only you will see this info, so don't worry if you think people will see this. This is only for internal purposes. So for example, if you are promoting a specific product, like for example, I have Flatsome Tutorial, so I'm trying to get commissions from a digital product. So I'll just put Flatsome Tutorial, just, just for myself so I know what it is, and then I'll click on Begin. All right, so under the two people, you'll click on your edit recipients and you wanna make sure that it's for your specific audience. So you'll see I have two subscribers and then I will click on save. Now, who is this from? This is from you, right? So you can actually edit that form, so edit form. So for my name, I'll put Daryl Wilson and then you will see the email where it's from as well. And then I'll click on save. So we have subject. So let's go ahead and add a subject. So you wanna make sure your subject is really catchy. You know, you want it to be simple and you also want it to be just straight to the point. So for subject, I'll put, you won't believe what I have. What I have for you. So next we have the preview text and the preview text is the text under the actual subject line. So for example, you see the screenshot right here? So the preview text is under it. So it's not actual text in the email, it's just something, a preview text where they can see before they open the actual email. So I'll put something here like about Flatsum or something. So, and I'll click on save. All right, so we have the subject all done and now let's go ahead and design the email. So we do have some layouts. Now a lot of these are really ugly and you're gonna have to kind of uh, design them all from scratch and that's okay. But if you click on themes, you will see some themes that you can choose from if you're just getting started out. I think I used this one when I got started out. I think it was just like something really basic and simple and uh, you know just something that I, that I thought was just like really easy. But first let's go ahead and just create our own. So under layouts, I like this sell product layouts. I think it's just very, straight to the point, I think it's easy on the eye. So under sell products, I'll click on this one. Now, of course, when you learn how to make your own, you can go ahead and design the templates and you can have fun, you can grab a beer and drink and make campaigns all you want. But let me just show you the basics of how to design the email. So first at the top, we have this logo. So if you wanna change something, so for example, they have just a placeholder here, I'll click on logo and then replace. And what I can do is upload my own logo or upload my own files here so I can use them on my email campaign. So on the right side, you'll see upload. I'll click on upload and then I'll go ahead and upload some files here. So you'll see that I added the logo and then here you can change the text. So instead of showcase your products, I'll put 90% off the flat sum theme. And then I'll take the fonts and we can change it to something a little bit more friendly or right like uh you know actually I think uh you know we'll, we'll do our bottle our bottle is a good one and then for the size you can change the size you can also change the actual heading style if you want to do that you can change the whatever you want but I'll just leave it as heading one if you want to change the color of something you can just go ahead and change the text color so if you want it like a red or if you want it a black so these are just all the options of how you can customize the text so you can kind of mess around with this but uh, these options right here are where you would customize the content. So next we have the style and the style is where you can, again, you can adjust things like the alignments and other various settings. And then we also have these settings, which is just the number of columns. So I prefer one column. I think one column is ideal for most emails. However, if you want a two column email, you can have a two specific column email. But for this video, we're just gonna be using one. I think that two, three, four columns can just be a little weird, you know, that's just my opinion. So for example, I'll go back to the content and click on save and close. 
So now we have a photo. Now, if you want to add in your own photo or drag and drop it, let's just delete this. So I'll click on this trash can and delete it. Then let's just say, you know what? I want to add in my own image somewhere else. So under image, we can just drag and drop that right there. I know it's the same spot. I just wanted to show you all how to, you know, how to, how to use an image or how to drag it. So then you'll see the same thing, upload an image. So we have this uh, image here. So you'll see that sometimes when you upload these images, it says this image might be too big. So we can go ahead and fix it. So let's do that. Let's fix it. This is a very common thing with MailChimp. So it's just saying, hey, if you want to make it a little smaller, let's do that. So I will just say crop or resize and then click on save. And then, you know, that would be the end of it. So and then I'll click on save and close. All right. So once that's all done, you'll see some content. Now you can see already how this email just looks really clean. We have an image, we have a title, we have some description, and then we have a button. So for example, if I want to edit this, you can just edit this as you want. So we can do, uh, you know, fonts, and we can center that. And then here, we can actually, I'll well, save and close. Whoops, we'll click here, and then I will, there we go, and save and close. So let's say you want to add something a little bit more stylish. Maybe you want to add in a specific divider. So I'll take that divider and put it in there. So here you can go ahead and adjust things like the padding on the top, which is space and the padding on the bottom. So the more padding, the more space. So just to give you an example, if I put 25, it's just going to add in more space there. So that's if you want to just, you know, make it look a little bit neater. And then we have the border. So we have the style of the border. You can have dashed or you can have groove or whatever you want to do. You can have fun with that. And then you can even change the actual width of it. So do you want it really, really thick? Like we can have a really thick one and then we can change this color to something more visible. So for the actual color of the bar, I would probably pick your brand. So if your brand is green, I would say, all right, then maybe you should apply green. That's why I like the divider because it kind of represents your brand and it helps people identify you and your website. So let's just say, uh, you know, for total purposes, let's just do black, you know, and I'll make this smaller. There we go. So you'll see that we have this image. We have this. And then for the button, actually, let's delete this. I'll delete it. And let's, let's, I want my own button. We'll grab our own here. I don't want to use the generic stuff they give us, you know, it's ugly stuff. So I'll drag this down so I can see and put the button there. And then for the buy now text, we can change this to something like a get deal. Now link to, so where do you want these people to go to if they click on this button? So we have web address, email address, an anchor link, or a specific file. So if you want to offer a specific downloadable file, you can select file. So let's say for example, you want to offer a instructions on how to do cooking or how to lose weight. You can go ahead and upload your zip file and then you can click on insert. Now, whenever someone clicks on this button, it will then go ahead and give them that file. So that's a way on how you can send them free stuff like instructions or those, uh, those scammy get rich quick guys, the, the free, you know, the free ebook and all that stuff. So this is how you can send free ebooks, cooking instructions, whatever you want to do. So you would just select the fire URL and then there you go but I just want to select a specific location. So what I'll do is I will change this to web address and then I can put in my affiliate link here or I can put in a YouTube channel or I can put in my website. So I'll put in my affiliate link. So basically saying if someone clicks on this and they purchase Flatsum, I will then make a commission off that company. So that's the whole purpose of this email is to make money, right? That's why you're all watching this email. Let's just be real. You know, let's just, let's just get straight to the point. We all want to make money, right? So I will go ahead and delete this block because I don't need it. It's ugly. And I want to finish this off with something like, uh, you know, maybe want some here, save and close. Maybe I want some social follows or you can even do sharing, but who the hell shares emails, you know? So probably just like social follow, right? That's like more standard and ideal. So you'll see we have a Facebook button. You can link the actual Facebook page. You have a Twitter. You can link the Twitter and then you have your website and then you can add another service. I think, let's see what, what they got here. They got, what the hell is who's? Who's and V... I think that's for, I think that's like the Russian Facebook V V contact I I don't even know but let's just do dribble let's just let's just keep it simple and then I'll click on save and close so of course you can link these 
uh, social accounts to any other social websites. And then on the bottom, we have this. Now, this is ugly. I don't like this, but you can leave it there if you want. If you want to do that, you can do that. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want it. Those are ugly. I, I like the color ones. You know, people like color on their social icons, right? So then at the bottom, we have just some information. Now, a lot of this information is required. So, for example, they want to know who sent this email, and they also want to know if they can update their preferences or even subscribe from your list. And you can edit this any time that you want, but I'm not gonna go into all this. This is something that you should just kind of leave. Uh, but again, you can update this and change this however you want. So I will click on save and close. So party people, I think we are all ready with this email. So I think this is looking good. I think the logo was way too big. I probably could update that, right? Okay, so I went ahead and edit that. I felt like that was just a little, that looked a little weird. So here we go. So we have the logo, we have a title of whatever you want to put. We have an image, we have just some information about the email, a beautiful button, and we have our lovely social icons where they can go ahead and like all of your stuff. So once you are done, you'll click on, on the top right, you will see continue. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. We have the email. So you'll see a quick preview of it. You can also send a test email to make sure it's working. So let's just do that. I'll click on send a test email and then I will send this to, all right. So then I'll click on send a test email. So I just put in a email that I have access to and send a test just to see how it looks like before I send it to, you know, 15,000 people and I'll click on, okay. So look at that. We have the email and you can see how it says test. So I'll click on this email. And I just want to scroll and just make sure everything looks good. So we have the image, everything looks really nice. And if I click on get deal, this should bring me to a website to purchase Flotsam. And there we go. So now they can purchase Flotsam, they can buy and add it to the cart. So that is the test email. So I think by now you guys are all ready to go with your first campaign. And then once you are all ready, you will click on send or you can schedule it. So let's say for example, I don't know why, but people like to open their emails in the morning right when they wake up. I mean, I think that's like the first thing you do, right? You check your phone like a like a corporate zombie, but I do too, so that's okay. So here they have the send time optimize, optimization, which is a very new feature. I didn't even know they had this. And this apparently will let them optimize it. So when people open your email, that's when it's going to send it to your subscribers but you can also do something what i've noticed over the years guys is corporations and businesses they send it at like three four in the morning when people are sleeping so when they wake up what's the first thing they see yep they see your email so i usually send my emails somewhere around 4 a.m uh pacific time so again when they wake up when they want to do something we'll get them before they go to work you know we'll get them you know we'll get them so they'll buy our product so uh, that's some strategy that you might want to consider uh, also, they have the send in batches. So if you do get a lot of uh, bounce emails, like for example, you just get like a lot of bounce emails and you don't know why, you can send those in batches and that will usually lead to a more successful campaign. So MailChimp cannot guarantee that every single email will be sent, but you can help them by sending them in current batches of two or three or four or however you want to do that. So yeah, and then you click on uh, schedule campaign or you can just click on send and send the email right away. And congratulations, you have now successfully sent out your email. So that's always good to know. So if you wanna go ahead and check out the reports, let's go ahead and jump to that section. So let's switch back to my account because this actually has a lot of campaigns and I'll give you a real life example. So for example, we have best web hosting. So I'll click on best web hosting. And this is a real campaign that I've sent to my subscribers. So I have an image, I have a title, I have a little divider and then we have some text we have some uh, a button to the video and then below that i have additional affiliate links and other videos now these actually get clicked on quite a bit so when people are um you know maybe they're in the market for purchasing a new page builder it's like oh here buy divi maybe they're in the market of purchasing a new web hosting you know who knows but i included other offers uh, below that so we have hot offers and then we also have, hey, check out these new page builders. And then we also have, hey, you need help? You know, we can help you with this. And I'm linking them to other YouTube videos. So uh, it took me some, you know, I, it took me some time to really optimize my email campaigns, but I do get a lot of clicks for my email campaign. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Or let's go back to the uh, view report. So let's scroll down. Now I'm not selling anything. So obviously I won't have any money here because I'm an affiliate. I'm not actually selling a product. I recommend it. So let's scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and here we go. So we have the opened, the clicked, 
the bounced and the unsubscribed. That is quite a bit, but you know, I got a lot of clicks. So that I feel good. I felt good. So we have successful deliveries, your opens and everything, all your information that you need right here. So we have the performance. So these are where your performances are going to be for your campaigns and also top links clicked. So notice how we have the main button being clicked a lot, but people are already clicking on my affiliate links for other offers. So just remember to put other offers in your email besides what you're currently offering, because maybe people might want to purchase other products. I mean, look at this, they are, we have 269 clicks from the main button, but we have all these other clicks from, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So look at that. We have all these other clicks from other offers that they might have purchased. So that's how I make commissions and that's how I make a living through affiliate marketing. So always go ahead and put in other offers just besides your current one. That's always a good strategy for email marketing. So you know how to make lists, you know how to send emails, but what happens if someone signs up for your form, right? So let me show you all how to send autoresponders for people who sign up for your email marketing list. So let's move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and create automatic emails for your new subscribers. So on the top left, you'll see create and click on email. So at this point, I think you guys know what to do, right? It's almost the same thing. So just click on automated and then we have email subscribers when they're tagged or welcome new subscribers, welcome new subscribers. And then we have the campaign name. So single welcome email by default. We have the actual audience. You might only have one. And then I'll click on begin. I have a lot of audiences. I have like five or six because I have run a bunch of different websites. And you can see everything's already pre-filled. So you can change the subject. So instead of thanks for joining us, we can change that to, I like to do something more modern, you know, like a welcome to the party. And then, you know, drinks, drinks on me. You know, something more modern, you know, that sounds really boring. I think people out there all like to, you know, like to be real, right? So we have the content and then you can go ahead and design this email just like you did the other one. So I'll click on edit design. So I'll go ahead and explain what all this weird text is. So go ahead and leave this. So this is going to be their name. It's going to pre-fill their name. So for example, if their name was Jessica Rabbit, it's going to put in, hey, Jessica Rabbit, it's going to put in their specific name. But then you'll go ahead and create and design this email just like you did the previous one. So for example, you can replace your logo. You can change the text. So instead of saying, we're glad you're here, I'll put a man, I'm like, it's, it's about time. You did the right thing. Welcome and expect great things. You know, that was on the top of my head. I didn't even have to, I, I'm not even on a script guys. I'm really not. So save and close. And then I'll click on uh, save and continue. Of course, once you are done editing your specific email, save and continue on the bottom right. So once you have successfully done that, you'll click on start sending and then you'll click on start now. All right, congratulations. So now when they sign up for your email list, they will get an automatic email from you welcoming them to your new email subscriber list. Okay, so at this point, you guys are kind of professionals. You guys know how to send automatic emails to subscribers. You know how to send campaigns and you also know how to view the reports. So now let's talk about how to integrate it with popular platforms like WordPress, duh. I mean, that's what everyone uses today is WordPress and WooCommerce. So let's do that. Okay, so now that you all know how to use MailChimp, let's talk about how to integrate it with WordPress. And if you're not using WordPress, you gotta start because WordPress is the number one CMS. It's been really easy to build a website with WordPress. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a basic WordPress website I have. And if you wanna learn how to make this same website, I'll leave that in the description below. We use the Divi theme here. It's actually the number one most popular WordPress theme in the world. So what I'll do is just go to my blog and I'll just click on some blog here. And I can go ahead and add in a sign up form on this specific list. So what I'll do is I'll go to MailChimp. Now this is the default way. So I'll show you a few methods, but I'll also talk about what I have on my website, which I think you should use, but let's just use the free methods first. So under the audience tab, you'll see sign up forms, click on sign up forms. So they have a form builder. They have embedded forms, subscriber pop-up and also form integrations. So let's just click on embedded forms first. I'll click on select. So they're just giving you a basic example of what this would look like. So this is how your, your sign up form would look like. Uh, we also have condensed, horizontal, unstyled. Wow, that is that is really ugly. They should just take that out. You know, if, if 
wow, that's ugly, <laughs> right? Like that is pretty, uh, that's like the, the scammy PayPal style, you know? Uh, so uh, let's just do something very basic. I'll just do classic. I'll just do classic um, for the fields. Uh, I'll just do show all. Of course, you can go ahead and edit and style this, but uh, you can do that on your own time. And then right here, copy and paste this onto our website. So what you can do is you can first put this on a text widget or you can put it under a code widget. So let me just go ahead and give you a quick example here. So this is my sidebar, right? So I wanna add it to the sidebar first. So I'll click on widgets. And this works for any WordPress website, not just Divi, it works for any one of them. So we have the arbitrary text. What I'll do is I will drag and drop that. I will click on the text and then dismiss that annoying notice and then paste it in there and we are all done. And then for a title, we can do sign up for free junk and then click on save. All right, so now let's go to visit sites, go to our blog. We'll go to the actual blog posts and now you'll see sign up for free junk and people can go ahead and subscribe to this list. So they'll put in their first name, their last name, and also their email address. Now, again, you can pick different forms. So if you don't like the way that looks, you can use condensed or even horizontal or whatever you want to do. So let's talk about some ways on how you can get some subscribers to your email list that will really work. So I'll first go through a free method and then I'll talk about a paid method where some, you can get something like this on your website where it just kind of grays everything out and people are kind of given a choice to sign up for your newsletter or not. Also, I'll show you how I have mine and we'll talk about how you can see how many people saw the, the pop-up, how many people signed up, and it'll give you a conversion rate and all that stuff. But first, we'll go through the free version just in case you don't wanna spend any money on a premium email opt-in. And um, yeah, that's just something, you know, whatever. So uh, on the plugin section, you'll click on add new. Now there's a free plugin that I think is really good and suitable for beginners. It's called Sumo. So this is the actual plugin. It's called Sumo Burst boost conversions and sales. I'll click on install now. Now this will give you a variety of different templates and different signup forms for your specific uh, websites. So I'll click on activate. Now I'll click on settings. So then you can connect your WordPress website. Before we do that, you can actually see some of the um, signup forms before you even download it. So you'll see they have a few. Also, you can see some screenshots of some of their templates as well. So if you wanna go ahead and go this route for a free method, you can always go ahead and do that. So you'll need to make a free account and you can make a free account, but you don't have to. I'll just give you an example of the whole process. So I'll click on sign, uh, log in. So once your website's connected with Sumo, I'll go to my dashboard and then you'll just get some options here. Like they have uh, other plugins and all this other stuff, but I'll click on my apps. So right away, you'll see that uh, they're giving you a free template. They're saying, hey, do you like this one? You can turn it on on your websites, but I'll just put no thanks. And then we can click on create a form. And you can say, I want to collect emails. And you can also add a just a call to action. And then you can go ahead and design and customize this form however you want. At the bottom, it says connect to an email service. So you'll see that MailChimp is here. So I'll click on connect with MailChimp. And I'll click on connect. So now you'll put in your username and your password for your MailChimp accounts, and then you'll click on login. All right, so it's saying Sumo will have access to your accounts. I'll say sure. Now, to be honest, this is probably the only free plugin that actually allows this. The other ones are all paid and premium. So you can customize your form and you can also connect it to MailChimp at the same time instead of spending money on plugins. So for the mailing list, you'll go ahead and put the mailing list that we created. And then um, we have disable double opt-in. So what this means is uh, if you have this unchecked, they'll just go ahead and be subscribed to your list. But if you have double opt-in enabled, that means they'll have to go to their email and confirm their email before they sign up for your list. So I will disable double opt-in. I feel like it's a hassle for people signing up for the list. And then I'll click on save. All right, and then I will click on publish once we were all done. So there is the actual newsletter. So people can go ahead and sign up on your website. Now, if you want to show your form at a specific time, you can click on the edit button and under the visibility tab, you'll see manual mode. So you can go ahead and go through these options and change this. So for example, if the visitor hasn't seen the pop-up in, in one month, you can show it again, or you can show it every hour or every day or however you want to 
uh, manipulate this for your website. So just go ahead and go through these options and uh, you'll be on your way and you'll be all set and all good to go. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at our website now. So look at that, we went to the website and now we have this pop-up saying join our newsletter. So I will go ahead and put in an email list and then there you go. So now you have subscribers that are subscribing to your newsletter for free on your new website. Amazing. Okay, so now let's say you're not broke and you wanna spend some money on a premium plugin, which I recommend. Now this is the number one recommended uh, plugin for mail opt-ins and it works with MailChimp like a breeze. Now I'll leave this in the description below. I do have a 20% off Bloom. So the Bloom plugin is a package bundle with Divi and also the Monarch plugin. So let me just give you a quick example. You would go ahead and you would purchase Bloom. There's a 20% discount in the description. So it is around $89. However, you do get access to other premium themes like the Divi theme, which is what we build this website with. So you do get a lot of value here. So uh, for $89, you get uh, access to all this stuff. And then once you get it, you can upload it to your current WordPress website. So let's just give you a quick example here. So I'll go to my dashboard and under plugins, I'll go to add new. Now, once I purchase Bloom, I can upload the plugin right here. So I'll click on upload, I'll choose the file, and then I'll upload the zip file, and that will install Bloom onto my website. So once I have Bloom installed on my current WordPress website, you'll see that I have my active opt-in. So I have a widgets, and I also have a pop-up. So right here, you'll see I have this beautiful pop-up, and there are hundreds of templates for you to choose from. It's really, really convenient. So if I go to new opt-in, it gives us an option. Do you want a pop-up? Do you want to fly in? Do you want to lock your content or place it under a widgets? But I'll just keep it basic, you know, pop up. So then you'll select an email provider and Bloom pretty much works with everything on the internet. It is a very popular email opt-in. So I'll click on MailChimp and then you can go ahead and connect MailChimp to this. So I already have connected MailChimp to this, but if you click on add accounts, it'll then say add the account. So I'll click on add accounts and then it's asking for the account name and the API key. So you'll go back to your website and under your profile, this is your current username. So you'll go ahead and put in that specific username. And then under the extras, you'll see API keys. I know API key sounds a little confusing or even intimidating, but it's really not. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste the API key. And then I'll go ahead and paste that API key right there and click on authorize. And look at that. So it recognizes my accounts and it also recognizes all the lists that I have in my previous MailChimp account. So this is how you can have MailChimp signups for each specific website. So for example, I can have one on this website, on another website, and another website, and so on. Uh, one thing to note that when you create an API key, you wanna click on create a key, and then you'll just wanna just copy and paste the first key because uh, obviously I have all these in use. So you'll go ahead and click on create a key. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that, but uh, yeah, no harm, no foul. So copy and paste the API key and you are all set. Then you'll go to your, um, you'll select your list. So I'll just put Daryl Wilson and I'll click on design your opt-in. So this just makes it super easy and super convenient. I mean, this is beautiful and it has a color for pretty much everything. It has a style for anything that you want. So you can just select any single form. And then on the bottom, you'll click on customize. And then you can go ahead and change the text. You can also change the fonts. You can change the color. You'll have full customization over your form. And you can even get a preview of what it looks like as you are actually customizing it. So it'll look something like that. Something very modern, something very unique. And uh, yeah, so go through these options and you'll you know have fun and you can customize your form and then you'll click on display settings. So you have different options. You can have it fade in. You can slide it into the right of the screen. You can slide it up, you know, vice versa. So you can go through a lot of these and check it out. Uh, also, you can say, hey, I want this to display 20 seconds after they come to the website or something like that. So you can go through and change the display settings of this. You can even have it on each specific page or exclude certain pages. So that's why I feel like this is a lot better than free forms because you can actually display this on each specific page and have specific conditions for each specific page. Because what's the point of having this display on the contact form? You know, like there'd be no reason for this to display on the contact us page. So uh, what I'll do is I'll scroll down and I'll click on next. And then it just says success message. We can redirect them to another URL or 
just give them like a thank you for signing up. So that means if they sign up for your form, we can link them to a different page. You can link them to a special offer. You can link them to pretty much anywhere that you want by going to redirect to URL and then putting that URL there. So that's a really cool feature they've added in Bloom this year. So I'm really happy they added that in, but I'll just do success message and click on save and exit. And congratulations. So now my website has a new email opt-in that will display uh, whenever. And it'll actually show me the impressions, which is how many people saw it. It'll show me the conversions, which is how many people signed up. And then it'll give me my conversion rate. So if one's not working out, you can kind of switch and go to the other. So that's how you can have pop-ups on your website with style. And you can do the same thing on your blog. So where it says you can add it to the widget. All right, cool. So now I went to my website and now I'm greeted with the subscribe to our newsletter. And you can see I really can't do anything. I have to either make it a selection or I have to close it. So I'll just close it. And now I'll just quickly go over how you can add this to the sidebar. So Bloom is actually a widget as well. So you'll see on the right side how it says join for freebies and news. So let's go ahead and just add it to the right side. I'll just run you through on how to do that. So I went to my widget section and on the widget section, now you'll see Bloom. So it's really simple guys, just drag and drop it. That's it and you're done. And then select the opt-in form that we made, put widgets and save. And now you are done. So now you can start collecting emails from your sidebar on your WordPress website. So that pretty much concludes how to add it to your website. You can do various different styles. You can use MailChimp's default settings. You can add it to your website. You can use the Bloom plugin, which I recommend. I do have a 20% discount for that plugin in the description below. Or you can use Sumo Me, which is a free alternative. It is limited, but again, it's free. So what happens when someone buys something on your website, right? You wanna get their email so you can send them coupons or discounts or promo codes or whatever you wanna do. So in this next section, I'm gonna show you how to integrate it with uh, WooCommerce. Now, if you're not using WooCommerce, I strongly recommend it. If you're using Shopify, leave Shopify and go to WooCommerce, WordPress. It is much better and a lot cheaper. So let's go. And lastly, for you party people who watched my tutorial on Flatsum, I'll go ahead and show you how you can add the email subscription to pretty much any e-commerce website with WordPress or any WordPress theme. So if you're running an e-commerce website with WordPress right now and you want to add an email opt-in form for it, let me show you how to do that. In fact, it's really, really simple. So under plugins, we'll go to add new. And then under search plugins, I'll type in MailChimp, MailChimp. And right here we have MailChimp for WooCommerce. And that's it, and that's it guys, that is it. You're done, yeah, click, click, click on activate, there we go. All right, so it wants to connect our store to MailChimp, so go ahead and click on connect. All right, and we have to enter in our credentials for MailChimp, so once we do that, I'll click on login. All right, I will authorize MailChimp and WooCommerce, and I'll click on allow. All right, it just wants to clarify some of our store settings, so just go ahead and make sure everything is correct, and then click on next. Okay, so next, what is your subscribers gonna see? So for example, you were subscribed to this newsletter from Daryl Wilson. You can change this to you know, our lovely, lovely e-commerce websites. And then you'll click on next. All right, so go ahead and select your audience. So where do you want your subscribers to be stored? Well, I'm gonna put my e-commerce store. And then scroll down, just keep scrolling. These are other options you can mess around with, but uh, you know, for total purposes, I don't wanna go through each one because they're really not for everybody. They're for some people. So I'll click on start sync. And congratulations, you have now successfully connected MailChimp and your WordPress website. It is syncing, so just give it a few minutes. All right, so let's buy something on this beautiful e-commerce website. Let, let's do that here. I'll click on shop. And also again, I have a tutorial on how to make this same exact e-commerce website in the description below, but I wanna get scammed here. Let's, let's just buy this, uh, this watch right here. So I'll click on checkout. And now when I try to purchase this specific watch, you'll see at the bottom, it says subscribe to our newsletter. And this is automatically checked by default. So whenever someone purchases something on your website and has this checked, you will then get their email and it'll end up in your MailChimp account. So congratulations guys, you've made it to the end. I wanna go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. I think I covered every aspect. I showed you all how to create a list, how to create a campaign, how to send automated emails, how to connect it to your WordPress website, and also how to connect it to WooCommerce. So again, I hope this video helped you out. 
make sure to like this video. I do spend a lot of time making these videos and you know I have to really go through everything to make sure it's perfect for you guys or else you're gonna get me disliked and nobody wants that so all right party people I hope this video helped you out now if there's something that changed or if they added something that was not in the video let me know in the comments below MailChimp has a tendency to update so I try to keep these videos up to date as much as possible so my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video guys take it easy